What's going on? Bowman 1951 here. Yes, a ghost arises from the ashes. I have not made a video in a few months. I have just been way too busy with life and work. And now my secondary portion of the hobby, and that is card show promoting. We'll get into that in a little bit, but man, it is national week for Atlantic City. Taking the entire family down in just a few short days. And we're here to show off a new mail day. So yeah, I've gotten a few cards in the mail over the past few months, but nothing spectacular to like even create a video for. But this is a care package out here from none other than comc.com. I was really excited to get a private message out of the blue from them a few weeks back asking to send me a gift. So I'm almost certain that's what this is. I think it's probably gonna be some Com C swag, but I figured I'd just open it up on camera and, and show it off. I'm always out promoting their, their business and I think they have a, a wonderful model. I've said before on many of these videos, probably 95% of my PC is from Com C. I buy cards to give away for my card shows from ComC and I've sold a ton approaching the $25,000 mark over the past, past few years. I started there with like $300 and some 1968 commons and here we are today flipping my way up uh, to some nicer PC items. So I think it's time to get into this box here. Like I said, C-O-M-C, Kyle Johnson, I believe is one of their marketing managers there. I'm just gonna take this off camera Get it open we can continue speaking here so the national atlantic city i am going to be there from i'm going to go to the show friday saturday and maybe sunday morning i'm not really sure yet i don't know if i want to pay 25 dollars just to go in for like an hour or two plus i was there in 2018 at uh cleveland and a lot of the dealers were already were either packing up or already gone on sunday so it wasn't as worth it even though the deals were great then I'm not expecting as many deals here in 2022 as you would have in like 2018. My God, sealed wax. You look back on that in some of the videos, you can get uh, hobby boxes for $17 of some products. It was just insane. That is not going to occur here in 2022 as blowout and you know David Adams want to just not take a lot of things home. There will be some quote unquote uh, deals to be had, but nothing as insane as, as many years back. Okay, we got it flipped up here. Take a, open the box on camera here. We'll go through some of the items. So yeah, about, you know, just taking a break from YouTube. There's only so many finite hours in a day. I've been really hyper-focused on the best flipping card show, which I've now looked to expand to two larger shows each year. So I've already signed up in October for a venue and I'm working on something in the spring of 2023. And my goodness, just the t in terms of marketing and signing contracts and everything, it just takes up so much of your time that I've just decided to focus on that and not, you know, just making videos all the time. Cause after editing and everything, I, you know, these, these take you several hours to put together. So first up, we've got a nice little hat here from ComC, that's great. Be wearing that down at the beach in Atlantic City. Looks like we've got a t-shirt here as well. Never seen this. They should change their logos. I've never seen that before. Buy, sell, and flip. But I'm asking for my shirt size, so I knew something like that was coming. Very cool. More to wear in AC. Can't wait to visit their booth. Gonna be dropping off some cards to them as well. Oh, we've got some sealed cards. Wow. Did not expect that. We got an NBA hoops pack. And I see something behind it there. Might as well just open this. We'll open both of these on camera. We'll save that till the end. That's great. And we've got Tops Series 2, which I have not yet opened. Haven't been able to find any. So keep those out front. Anything else in here? We got a few more items. I think this is it. $20 off your next submission at the National. Wow, I'm so glad I decided to open this a few days before I leave. That is cool. And some pens and probably some sticky notes. 
some uh, stickers there as well, Com C. So very cool. Got all this today in this uh, care package. Let us get into these two packs here before we end this video. Anything else I want to say? Can't wait to see everybody. I'm so excited. I actually made a Twitter post today that I'm a little, I have a lot of social anxiety for what's going down at the National this year. And I just really can't figure out why. I guess it's, I haven't been watching as many hobby related videos recently. So I don't want somebody to come up to be like, do you know who I am? And uh, I don't know, I haven't watched any hobby related content in like three, four months. Or what I do is just here and there or like so a, a breaker that I watch all the time. All right, we've got Kendrick Nunn. Tristan Thompson, Jason Tatum, PC there. One of the rookies or two will be in the back. Lonzo Ball, Manuel Quickly, Luke Kennard. We got a purple DeAndre Hunter. I'm guessing this should be our rookie. Looking at Bones Highland there on the hoops pack. Lastly. I would assume this is uh, a hobby pack. Cup Series 2. Looking for one of those short prints. Bobby Witt. J-Rod. All right. Francisco Mejia. Carlos Correa. Oh, my God. These are so much easier to read than, than last year's. Nathaniel Lau. Jonathan Shoup. Kevin Kiermeyer, Chris Bubik. Jordan Romano. Jose Urquidy. Willie Calhoun, insert of uh, Vladdy Guerrero Jr., Framo Reyes, Taylor Trammell, I-5 Highway, and lastly, Tanner Houck. Oh, did I not get a single rookie in that pack? Huh, I guess not. All right. All right, thanks again to the ComC social slash marketing team over there. Really excited to stop off at their booth at the National, uh, drop off uh, some cards, like I said, talk to them about some ideas about the website that I have. And you know what? I'm really excited to see all my friends all over the country in one location, enjoying the hobby, kick back a few beers at night and just enjoy your company. It's going to be an exciting time. I'm sorry to anybody that can't make it this year. I have had a hiatus for a few years now with two uh, births of my sons and just, you know, a uh, pandemic in 2020 there where they had to shut it down completely. So it's exciting to be back and I cannot wait. We will see you not only at the next video, but at the next National Sports Card Convention. Bowman 1951 out. Wow, next pack wars two o'clock. You don't want something? I hope so. I really do. Alright, the next top pack for is right here. Alright, clear the rules. One box per person. You must be sealed. I need you to hold them up high and do not open them until you say to you. Who's that last patch you have? The B there. One more back. 
Oh, uh, Luke Falk. Yeah. Yeah. That one's pretty solid. Yeah. I mean, how do you like to go with matches? Who's Number to five? Luke Falk. Yeah, number to five. Two of five. I don't know who that is. Where's guy in the new category? Kayon Johnson. Ricky Patch autograph. 37 of 99. Does anybody else have Kayon Johnson? Ricky Patch autograph. We did okay. Going boxes, so. yeah. Wait, were you just in the Bosmo? Is that it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What's your serial number? 73. Oh. Portland, Sutton, or... Oh, you got it. You got it. Oh, you got it. I got you. Here you go. I'm right here. Who's it again? Oh. <laughs> 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 I just got punched in the face with it. 73 of 99. 73 of 99. Who's the... Uh... Winner. Did you get any other good cards though? More importantly, did you get good cards? I got points.